Hey everybody, good morning. Had a really awesome idea last night. Came to me in a vision during a dream for a video that I think that you guys are all gonna really enjoy. You know, we've got these pretty awesome high power pistol-ish sort of air guns coming out right now. We've got two from AEA right here. I've got the Hubin GK1. We've got the Evan X Viper. A lot of folks are looking at these things now as maybe self-defense options. And although it might not be my first choice, if it was my only choice, I would definitely be way more happy to have one of these than a slingshot. So I thought, let's go ahead and just run through them all today. Let's start off with the Viper and just work our way on up to this guy right here, the most powerful current air pistol, even though this is really more of a carbine. You can take this rear bottle off. We are gonna cover that a little bit in today's video. Kind of showing some size comparisons on these four air pistols, if you will. But but I think this is gonna be really interesting. We're gonna do accuracy and power comparison on all four of them. And I hope this will give some of y'all an idea on maybe which one's best for you. So let's go ahead and take it on down to the range and do some shooting. There's just no way you're running this one-handed. It is, it's too heavy. Oh, hold that guy up. Man, that's a beast. So that's my opinion right there. A pistol should be something that is best maybe operated two hands, but it, you should be able to, in a real world situation, operate it with one hand. And this M50 right here, Bam, grab it up, easy, one hand, no problem. We've got a standard 1911. Let's see, hold it up to the Evan X Viper. Yeah, not too much, not too bad. Hold it up to the Hubin. Now, you know, maybe it's a little bit long, but not too bad. Hold it up to the M50, you know, a little bit larger. Dear God, hold it up to that S45. And like I say, barely, barely, the block of the S45 is larger than a pistol. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it keeps falling. Got it. Sheep love corn, and we love Tacticon, and we love turkeys. <laughs> and we love Tacticon Armament for sponsoring today's video. They're a 100% combat veteran owned company that I'm proud to have that I'm proud to have on board as a sponsor. And if you guys want to say thank you to them for sponsoring this video, you can head on over to the link on screen right now or down in the description below to get yourself a red dot like the one we're using today or just to check out any of their other. They really have industry leading warranties and stand behind their gear. And if you use code SHOOTING, they'll send you a free bag of corn. No, no, actually they they won't do that. Oh. But uh, definitely check them out. Use the link in the description below.
All right, so first up we had the Viper. Here's the water bottle we hit with that. We've got a split on this side and a little split on this side. I think this was the entrance right here and the exit on this side. So not a whole lot really done to the water bottle there. All right, so here is the Hubin water bottle. You can see we've got a pretty good split on both sides, but still relatively the water bottle's intact. All right, now here's the bottle we hit with the M50. You can see some pretty significant damage. I believe here is our uh, entrance on this side here, split almost the entire length of the bottle. And on this side over here, just absolutely ruptured out the whole side of the bottle. And that is what is left of the bottle we hit with the S45. So you can see not just a split, but absolutely blew out the entire side of the water bottle. I think that the power demonstration might not be scientific here, but it's clearly visible as we step up from the lower power up to this uh, high power, maximum power S45, what the difference is, um, you know, can't be denied. I would definitely suggest if you're running something like this, take a look at these Tacticon red dots. They're super affordable. This Apex Predator V3 actually has a solar panel like that to keep the battery charged, has an instant on or shake awake feature, two different reticle choices. I mean, for the money, you can't really buy much of a better red dot. So just wanted to shout them out, thank them for sponsoring the channel. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I mean, if I had to run with any one of these, it would probably be this guy right here, just because it's sort of the most power for size ratio. You know that Hubin, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna say that it just has faster follow-up shots, holds more shots in general, so that might be your choice. And really for me, I know it would be a tough choice between this guy right here and the Hubin. Um, but the real reason why it comes down to me sort of selecting this one right here is just because it's gonna punch a bigger hole in whatever it is that you're pointing it at. And um, yeah, I'm gonna feel more confident with that. You know, I, I think that I would rather have less maybe shots. I mean, you can get more than one mag for this. It's a six shot mag. You could have an extra mag in your pocket, 12 shots. You know, that's not too many less than the uh, 17 that the Hubin 25 cal holds, but it's a lot, lot bigger hole. And that just gives me more confidence. Uh, the extra power. So there you have it. That's my humble opinion on the issue, but uh, you know, I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say. So start leaving some comments below. Let me know like which you would select, Viper, M50, S45, GK1. I mean, I think it's a pretty interesting debate and I hope you guys join in to the discussion, but that's it for today's video. And man, I hope you guys had so much fun checking all this out. I had a lot of fun shooting these things. And if you want to hang out some more, why don't you guys check out one of the other couple of videos up on screen right now? And we can do just that. I'll see you over there.